hello this is a long overdue video of two rounds of downtown and i'm just putting up the scoreboard there that's from the end of the first round because i actually did not check the scoreboard until then just to give you a vague idea of the teams also kind of ruins the suspense that we do lose this round Although I did try harder than I normally would, especially given the teams. And it needs to be said that the enemy team had a significant advantage in raw player skill and or effectiveness. And my goal here is just to push our advantage as quickly as possible. We got center because I held up the enemy orb and none of the enemy team tried to build their prime. So, want to be the war runner. Looking okay, gonna get the jump boots. Notice the center is now taking damage, so I have to be wary of that. Still taking damage, and now the hellbender is in the way. But, I, I would have come back anyways. Wow. One shot for two, three. For, yeah, and at that point I'm just kind of in awe of our little stalemate. I lose focus for a bit. And I'm gonna look for the sniper. Just harassing me the whole time. Over here, three players, so I'll get in the turret and hide myself in the sniper. Then chase the sniper away so that I can focus on this player. Because if I did it in the other order, if I went after that public school first, then I'd be a headshot magnet for this player, the sniper. Just Septos, also known as Raptor KC, who is uh, more, much more technically sound player than me. Use the jump boots that I picked up before to try to kill that player up there from the Manta. Got killed by the uh, vehicle explosion. Kill the nodes so that we can get our orb and really hold center at all. Saw that player get too close to the orb, try to help it. Too slow, and now the node's taking a lot of damage again. We can just keep the node alive long enough for the orb to respawn and touch the orb. Even if I die in half a second, that orb would give someone on our team the opportunity to maybe recapture center or an enemy player with suicide so there's a good player here our orb saw it too orb fired at that player and get a really good frag there i'm gonna rush normally i wouldn't do this i would uh, don't like my odds but it it looks pretty good with just two players we're going to take down center. The other scorpion and the hellbender did not attack me. So that was pretty good for me. Just need to secure the center so that our can get there. Died pretty quickly there. Just want to rush back to center. I would have checked the clock by now. Saw that the Redeemer uh, would have been taken already. But then I saw that Prime went down and I saw an enemy Prime and best to just cut across the river. Supporting the tank from behind. And then I turn around, more support, don't want, to, don't want us to lose that tank, we really need that if we're going to hold enemy prime. Just not fast enough there. Yeah, the not even going to think about the, uh, oh, I don't really like having tank in prime. Do all that I can to stop the orb. And I really don't like this. The 
tank should not have been abandoned. The three players there with the orb visible on the map. Uh, someone should have gotten in tank. In position. I might not have even respawned at enemy prime. Just a passerby at that point, and uh, <laughs> there really wasn't any guarantee that I would have been there to stop that. Redeemer's gonna spawn soon, so I'm gonna try to help out with that. If it was grabbed, um, perfect timing, it would have spawned at 14:35. I kind of not actually noticing the redeemer spawn. When I go back to check, saw the tank on the bridge. Yeah, and I expect to die pretty soon. I have Didn't want to push my luck. So enemy got their prime tank is their own prime. This is a silly death. Um, and then they dead at our center immediately. Dead packed. So yeah, now their prime's very safe. This is the situation I wanted to avoid. Now the enemy will be able to regroup and the disparity between our teams will become much more obvious. It's imperative that we kill that tank quickly. So I don't want to stay around this barricade. Just messing around and the center got hit by another death pack despite our scorpion there. And like four players on foot. And in this situation, I actually wouldn't want the orb to have capped the way it did. I'd rather just build up the node, but it didn't really matter. Because we had so many players here. And I don't want the orb to kill me. And then I'm going to warn the orb about the tank. I figure, I'll oh, forget it. He's not gonna read it. Just let it find out how I'm Build center. But the door will be able to spawn. It's not taking enough damage. I don't really want to get the orb now. I don't want to be the orb runner. Now the tank's there. Low success. Ugh, roll. Try to get the next redeemer. I think that player just grabbed it. I have the orb. Player that just died. Yeah. Look like another death pack I've there. Got the yeah, and this player. Oh, and I don't like the way our orb's rushing. I'm just lucky that center went down. And now we're going to be held up by Holsing the Hellbender, which is pretty good. Now respawning at tank node with no tank. And no one was paying attention to that orb. Could have very easily capped if there was uh, more... if the enemy built center faster. Which they should have. Notice Sibis is still there. He's probably gonna take down Prime. All the other players there who died just assume someone else is gonna kill him. And yeah, he probably did take it out. Now with help. Sibis is pretty ascended. Gonna do something really risky. The paladin there, and I'm not sure if I kind of did a a bluff or a gambit there, because I I was pretty certain that was in Septos, and I thought that he wouldn't get into the paladin given uh, everything he's done so far. So I thought I'd be safe at least from that. Would have been very easy to kill with the paladin. I've got the ore. Yeah, now we're getting rushed pretty hard. And here's the tank. 
tanks gonna try to carve out a path. Call that out just in case anyone isn't aware, and that's where everyone should be focused on our team. This tank. Take an alternate path. Move up so I can still hit the tank. Figure, let's back up. And even better than going through the shooting the tank from the back is over here where it's hard to kill me. Focus again on hitting the tank, and I just get the kill. So we're safe for a moment. Help with this rush. If there's four of us rushing at the same time, we kind of have a chance. Screw that up completely. But no, it's not a good rush at all. Like seven players at center. Front to center. I think I'd want to go to prime at this point. No. Oh, I guess that's a mistake. Defend prime while the orb's running. But I'm kind of committed myself to attacking. Prime's gonna go down any moment. There it goes. That redeemer didn't help at all. See self, Ronaldo, and Sizzadizer there. I don't think they should have been there at all. At center, when Prime is the real important target now. I'm just gonna try to come up from behind. See if I can at least uh, assassinate them in the orb. I know I'm not going to surprise everyone. I shouldn't. Dud rocket. Or just get that kill, but then I die. No good. Yeah, and this is kind of what I knew would happen. What I was worried about, what was happening all night this night. Play did not actually die. I'll just attack with the Paladin, something big. S something that can sponge damage. That I know there will be a lot of. Just keep rushing. Actually kind of prioritizing that player. I knew they were in Septos because I know that our team would have difficulty with that. And yeah. Tank. No one called it out. Chase that Hellbender. And. Not giving up yet. But it looks like we're gonna lose the debt pack. Get jump boots, try to maximize my odds. I have the Manta, so at least they'll be fast. Look for Berserk, it doesn't seem to be up. And we lose. Second round. Get to the Scorpion, so I'll have a. Uh, Opportunity to rush. I Someone else didn't orb. get it. Orb doesn't seem to be there. And now they're going to be building Prime, and Orb is between these two vehicles. I think I did hit it, but too much protection. Despite those vehicles being there, our Orb got killed by something. Those two blue vehicles. Prime should have been built much faster. Should have prime built before uh, 40 seconds in. Didn't need to dead into that. Or, uh, eject into that hellbender because it was caught. It was weak. This right here, not so helpful what I'm doing. Nice spam there. I saw Inceptos uh, dodge into there. 
managed to attack the vicinity of Prime. Now I want help. Or what to do, there is no health. I don't want to take the armor vest. Boots aren't up. There they are. Jump up here, waiting for the redeemer. I have the orb. Uh, being unhelpful. Yeah, one health bubble, and then try to land. Time that perfectly. It's off by a second, and I did not notice it was up there. It would be really straining myself to see that. Just to think that someone would be watching. Maybe he couldn't make it to the center in time, but everyone knows when the first redeem responds. Orbs down. And this player, not very good movement, has the death pack. It's the opportunity to steal it. I have the orb. Didn't pan out. Area secure. So I don't think I don't like our chances right now. Tank is not centered though, so that's good. It just feels like all we have to do is lose Prime, and then that's it. More of a an eventuality, and there we go. But as you can see, this is a much longer video. So our story doesn't end here. Tank helps push. That's the redeemer that I glitched. Uh, not intentionally or anything. Yeah, this is really silly. So the tank went past, untold number of red players went past, and there was still a hellbender. Enemy hellbender in prime. Heal up that scorpion, give it a fighting chance. Even if it wasn't enough to protect it from an Avril. Next tank's up. That's good. Keep it moving. Redeemer should have spawned. Check that, it's already gone. Moto has the Redeemer there. Or definitely could help out with that. And the rush. Three enemies. Go up the stairs so I can get more rockets. Get rid of that big threat. I have the orb. And the Hellbender should almost be destroyed. Tank helping Prime, and then good luck. We got Center down. Try to help out here. This should be a good kill. Let me get one though. I thought I would have gotten all three. So it turned out I checked, I was just a bit too slow. Or uh, rather, I waited too long to hit those sky mines. Yeah. But center is uh, under contention. It was. The enemy just capped it, and we should have killed uh, most of them. Definitely the time to rush back to center. Try to repel the enemies with the uh, Stinger Alt. Just been trying that out more and more. It's never any good with it. And then its knockback is pretty annoying. Saw the enemy orb uh, <coughs> avoiding us, so I knew it would be here. Watching the front part of it and helping out with uh, the Redeemer whenever that spawns. But I'm not gonna take it. There's a tank and we lost center. I've got the orb! Tanks are taking pot shots from across the bridge. Grab that orb and try to get here as quickly as possible. I knew that uh, the blue orb would get there sooner, and it was really important for that enemy player to touch the nodes so that the orb could lock it, preventing me from capping. Even though the, the orb was going to get there sooner anyways. 
it's still important to try. Just like before, if I can uh, put the orb right beside the node. What is that player there? If I could put the orb right beside the node, we at least have a chance. Also, I'd rather the drop orb. the orb right beside the enemy node in that situation than further out where they wouldn't want to send it back to us back so that we can lock Prime. When I was still new to Warfare, um, and I didn't have good movement, didn't really know the orb routes or anything, I would try to, when I was the orb runner, I would try to die in a good place, and sometimes a good place was where I thought the enemy would suicide the orb. Sacrifice themselves to the orb, rather than let the orb time out for 13 seconds plus whatever delay, 20 seconds. Plus, whatever the respawn time is, like another six seconds or something. It's a lot better to die with the orb around a bunch of enemies. Uh, depending on the situation, but still. It's a general rule. Alright. Down to prime again. But we have a bunch of players here. The Hellbender up here. And I want to finish off this note so more players can spawn in. Orbs capping tank. That I just don't ever like to see that. Because now the orb's gonna be back at base. That's just the quirk of this map. No. But we weren't fast enough at the enemy house tank. My opinion on running the orb to tank node here is if you're going to do that, you better be the person to run the next orb and not be this greedy person who only wants to tank. Looking for vehicles. Just wait here. Rewarded with a vehicle. And we lost the tank. Going to try to come from uh, approach center from behind. I think I saw a vehicle here. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure even during the game. Two hits on the orb runner. Yeah. So I, I just kind of. Uh, oh no. Waited, and that was that was really good. Center, as it turned out, was lightly defended. I was able to take out the orb and the one defender. And as it just so happened, our orb was running. Managed to snag that orb, saw it, and heard the announcer. Call the orb out. Notice that. Yeah, we're gonna lose center really quickly. Uh, so I'll just wait at uh, Prime for when the orb gets sent back a node. There's the tank, but now that we have the node again, we're in better shape. I can lock the node. This player up here to deal with. And it seems like we've pushed the tank back. We have the, enough offense to scare it away. And get a. Nice, random, spammy, whatever flag there. Enemy Prime is down. Let's push the advantage. I don't even want to deal with that player. Saw that Manta. Get caught. This is stupid. And I die. But I died in a good spot, right? You'd imagine with all this offense that someone would grab the orb but it's taking down. And now enemy has their prime. So the hell down that support. The orb and it died. No good at all. 
try to delay those spawn by damaging the node. Wait and get the fragment in the orb. And this is what I would call a enemy prime being clear. Yeah. I'm not gonna sacrifice myself on the orb because there's no uh, there's no advantage in that. You know. With uh, enemy prime not destroyed, then more players are just gonna spawn in there, pick up the orb, you no, know, it's no good. Wait for Moto to go first. If it crashes into the tank, I crash the Moto. And we're just waiting for the tank, to, tank body disappear. Alright, scarf silliness. Do a wall dodge and just managed to stand all the way into that window. As was planned. We lost Prime in that time. And shooting Grana Ho, go get the node. Go get the orb. I'm waiting. I want to. Uh, I want us to get enemy Prime and then I will attack enemy core as quickly as possible also stealing their jump boots mess with orb runs and stuff yeah orb is coming up i don't actually need to kill that player i think it's carnus again i didn't need to jump down so soon and i sort of trip those players up looking like i might go back on that jump pad so then I get shot in the back. Redeemer up, look over there. Didn't actually see the Redeemer, just keep rushing. Do that Scorp eject that I know works. Don't want to get in tangled in a fight, try to win as quickly as possible. And we won. And you look at those teams, we're actually up three, but bear in mind that two enemy players left when I was shooting the core, I brought it down to seven or whatever. So that was actually pretty good, uh, good intensity and all that. I have the final round. I think that's going to be my next upload. Maybe, maybe not. Until then.